Any object that you want to capture with power to scan can be done so by scanning each section of that object and bring it into the scanning software. Here we're looking at one section of a manifold that we scanned in. This is the actual point cloud file here. What we can do is bring in all the different sections that we scanned in and have the software go through and align them automatically to each other, clean up any overlap, and uh, merge all those sections together into one final output. What we can actually do is look at each section and how they're registered to each other. And I'm going to expand out this menu. You can see each section listed there. I'm going to go ahead and hit View All. And this will actually bring up the file so we can view what the software is actually doing. And you can see each section is actually color coded here. And it does a nice job of aligning those up to each other where they need to be. At this point, what we can do is choose what file format we want to send this out as. Uh, we, we support multiple formats. We can do uh, OBJ, STL, and this will dictate what we bring in to SOLIDWORKS. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit Next, and I'm going to select these two formats, STL and OBJ. You can see we support uh, WRL files. OFF, DXF, and I'm going to go ahead and hit finish. Okay, so now we're going to take that STL file that we got from the scanner, bring it into SOLIDWORKS, and use the scan to 3D function to work with this file. There's all kinds of nice tools in here that allow us to go in, make edits to the model. Here I can come in and actually remove extra detail that I don't need. Uh, just to get that out of the way. Sometimes with the scan data you'll notice that there's some noise going on, on on this boundary here. There's some nice tools that allow us to smooth that out interactively and it's all in a wizard based format. Here we can patch up any holes. The nice thing about this is we can use all the standard SOLIDWORKS tools to start to build our geometry referencing this scan data. Here I'll just insert a three point plane on that and then I can take advantage of the curve wizard which will allow me to actually generate geometry based off of that scan. So here it actually built those sketches for me. I'll go ahead and do the same thing along the bottom and generate some cross-section curves. I can use these curves as a guide for creating a surface model such as a lofted surface. Remember, at any point, you can refer to the scanned data and actually snap to it as you draw in SOLIDWORKS. So here I'm just snapping along, creating some guide curves. This will help me get the shape that I need. I'll pick all the curves I created to generate that final surface. So the resulting feature that we get you know, it would be very difficult to actually physically go to that model and take the required measurements to just duplicate this in SOLIDWORKS without referencing that scan. So we can continue on with that process, referencing that scan data, building up all our SOLIDWORKS geometry to give us that final parametric model. So if we actually hide the mesh to take a better look at the SOLIDWORKS geometry that we created, we can see that the final result here looks nice. If we want to run a comparison between the original scanned data and the resulting SOLIDWORKS geometry that we created, we can use the deviation analysis tool to actually measure that. And that will allow me to kind of probe along the surface and take those measurements interactively. So you can see power to scan and SOLIDWORKS make the process of reverse engineering very easy and intuitive.